Hey guys, NatureGuyX46 here, and today we are going to be taking a look at our Organism of the Week. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so figured I'd jump back into it. Um, today we are taking a look at clearweed, and usually when we look at a plant, it's either because it's poisonous, or it's edible, but in this case, we're just going to look at it and learn about it and go from there. So... First off, you might be able to see why they call it clear weed. It is a little bit translucent. This is a member of the nettle family. You can see the leaves are green. They are serrated. Um, this is a plant that's going to grow all, along with others of its own kind because the seeds... Although they can travel, they don't travel too super far. Um, it is hairless, unlike other nettles. And the leaves are opposite. So what happens is, here they grow. Whoops, you can't see that. Here they're coming off this way. And the other side they turn. And then they'll go up and they'll turn again. So, we're going to move on from there and talk a little bit more about it. So, in midsummer to early fall, there will be flowers that develop. The flowers are going to form in what's called the axils. So, right about where, my, where the leaf stem or patella... Yeah, I can't remember the name, but right where that little leaf is, is where the flowers are, would be. Each plant has individual male and female flowers. None of those flowers have petals. The male flowers have four stamens, and the female flowers have one pistil. And the flowers bloom for just one month. The flowers have no scent. The wind actually aids in cross-pollination and in spreading the tiny seeds. This is a native plant, which also doesn't happen all that frequently on my channel. We usually look at plants that are um, been introduced or invasive, whatever. But this is actually a native. Numerous insects actually feed on this plant, including four butterflies and one moth. And yeah, I did mention it is in the nettle family, but it doesn't sting. I have read that this plant is edible, um, but I can't confirm that, so um, I would suggest not eating it. Medicinally, this plant has been used to relieve itching. Liquid from the stem has been used to treat sinus problems. And with that, we're going to end this video. The next video is going to be talking about lamb's quarter, which is another plant, another potentially native plant. So with that, I'm going to let you go. And we'll look at the next video. Bye! Oh, almost forgot. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like this type of video and you want more, then feel free to subscribe. If you want to see more videos and I post more videos of this kind, um, why not give it, click that notification bell. So that you can see more videos and know when those videos are coming out. So with that, I will talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.